Welcome, First Christian Church in Chickasha. Oh, wait. Sorry. Uh, I've taken you to several places around that has meant a lot to me. Well, one of the places I'm going to take you today is my schoolroom. My classroom. It's a computer lab. I actually use another classroom as well. I go to a first grade classroom and I help with reading in there. One of the things that I teach is a little bit about computers. Computers mean a lot to me. I got my first computer, let's see, uh, I was probably eight or nine. Came from my Uncle Don, who used to work on computers for IBM. And I've gotten a couple other things from him in the past, but I wanted to show you a little bit about a computer on this demonstration model I have here. Uh, this is the ones that we use when I talk about the different parts of a computer and what not to do and what to do when you have one. So we're going to look inside a computer. So I'm going to flip this camera around and I'm going to show you a little bit. So this is my demonstration model computer. And so I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like inside. And we're going to go over just a few of the parts. Um, for example, this right here. We'll get you guys a little bit better look here. This right here is the hard drive. Okay. We have several fans, a power supply. That's what supplies all the power for what the computer needs. Up here, if you can kind of see up in there, that is a CD-ROM drive. I know this is an older computer, so a lot of them don't even have these anymore. But if you look really close inside, you see this big circuit board around this fan? Well, this is a motherboard. And you might ask, a motherboard, this thing supplies all of what the computer needs to operate. There are different parts of the motherboard. There is the CPU, which is the basically the brains of the situation. There's actually a battery. So if you look right here, right there, it's actually a battery. And that battery helps the computer remember things when the power's off. Because there's a couple of different types of memory. So we have a memory that's called RAM. We have a memory. And that is run off of several different uh, chips in here. So look right here. If you look really, really close, get in there. You see that? That's a memory board. That's where some memories are. If you look down here, this is where your internet comes in. Right through here. Right here, it's where your video goes in and out. So why am I showing you all of this? Well, it has to do with what we're talking about today. See, in our story today, we talk about Jesus and he is talking to his disciples. And in that conversation, he tells them about who God is. And he says, if you've seen me, you've seen God. If you've heard me, you've heard God. Well, unfortunately, we do not live in the time of Jesus. So how do we hear God in our time? Well, I started thinking about this, and I started thinking about computers, and my brain started to go, 
And so one of the things I wanted to tell you is that you see God every day. You see the face of God every day. I'm very lucky to work where I work. I work in a building with people that I like. I work in a building with people that I care for. But there's only two guys in this building. Most of the teachers in this building are women, ladies. And what is today? Today's Mother's Day. Today's a day which we honor mothers. But here's the thing. Mothers can be all sorts of things. All sorts of people. The teachers that care about you. The people in your church. The ones that come up and give you a hug. Well, we can't do it right now, but when we get back. The ones that come and give you hugs. The ones that care enough for you to make your lunch. The ones that care enough for you to make sure that you're safe. These are the true mothers. A mother just isn't having a kid. A mother is someone who cares for someone else. And when we recognize that, and we recognize all the mothers in our lives. We need to give them a hug, a word of encouragement, write them a letter, color them a picture, do whatever it is you need to do to express your love for someone. Because a mother is the most wonderful thing in the world whether it's a mother that gave birth to you, a mother that has adopted you, a mother that you see help someone on the street, a mother that may have helped you along the way. That is what Jesus was talking about when he says, if you see me, you see the face of God. We see the face of God every day in those mothers that take care of us.